<laughs> Look at the flight scope Mevo. It is minuscule. Look, <laughs> I'm like a giant. So the Mevo is a personal home launch monitor for people who want to check distances long and dial in exact distances watch ball flights as in launches spins for anyone who wants measured practice is what flight scope are uh, saying we are going to compare this unit to my gc quad industry standard 20 grand launch monitor against this very affordable home use and personal use launch monitor just to see how good the mevo from flight scope actually is now if you like the information in this video hit the like button down below if you are thinking of buying one of these i've got a discount code coming up here link in the description down below as well if you want the best price on this unit use that code follow that link and if you don't you just want to learn what they do stay around we're going to test it in full So this unit comes very neatly packaged. It's amazing when you open the unit, it's like, oh my God, you just, you know it's small, but it's just hilariously small. Very nice and neat unit in your hands. Got this little kickstand at the back, so you can stand it up wherever you are using it. That just folds away. Simple on and off button, it indicates the battery on the top. You get some quick start guides. You get the charging cable, and the charging cable, unfortunately, is old USB. Bit scared I'm gonna lose it. And it also comes with this little sleeve as well for protection. Doesn't really offer protection, maybe from scratches, but it's a neat unit and very well packaged. So the Flyscope Mevo measures eight parameters. You are getting carry distance, spin rate, ball speed, club head speed, vertical launch, smash factor, apex, so peak height, and flight time. These eight parameters are gonna allow you to use it in the two situations I tested it, outdoors and indoors, and measure how far balls are going, dial in your distances, even work on speed training as well, hitting shots. We'll cover all of that, but it's a base entry level eight parameters that are gonna be great for anyone stepping into the launch monitor world. It uses radar. This is Doppler radar technology. So there's no cameras, there's no display on the unit. You are gonna connect it to the app. We'll look at the app in a second. But basically you're placing it behind the ball, you're hitting shots and radar is gonna give you the information on what is happening to the ball flight once you've hit the ball. So the FS Golf app, Flightscope Golf app, is fantastic. Now I've reviewed the Mevo Plus, which is the more expensive version of this entry level device. And the software, apart from different things that it's measuring, so it gives you more options, it's the same software, up to even almost the pro level. And that's one of the things that you're buying into with Flightscope. You are getting tour quality, fitter quality software, often the software for these more budget launch monitors is really dodgy. The software presents well, you can look at the data in tile form, you can see range flight of the ball. Now, this isn't down the range flight project onto your screen, you see a side on view, because it doesn't do left and right, remember, you're getting distance, you're not getting left and right, you have to go to the Mevo Plus if you want those things. In the app as well, you can capture your swing, and then you can get the data basically presented all across the app, which is fantastic. There's a skills challenge also in there, which is great, giving you three different skill challenges to keep you engaged. Again, you could totally project them onto a screen. You do get a little bit more flight time on those. And also, the app will speak to you. Carry is 163.9 yards. So if you don't want to keep looking at the app, you can hit a shot and it'll spit out numbers to you. So you can just hear, oh, that one went this distance or that distance or that spin rate, which is a clever feature. Available on Android as well as on Apple iOS. On the course, this unit is actually easier to use than the more expensive Mevo Plus, because the Mevo Plus takes so much more setting up. This unit, you literally just plonk it down behind the ball. Setup is so simple indoors and outdoors. Basically, you're around six to eight foot behind the ball, lined up kind of down the direction you want the ball to go. You just kick the stand out at the back and you hit your shots. Now, remember, there's no display on the unit, so you do need to have your phone connected. The phone just connects instantly to the device. It's seamless, it uses a Wi-Fi, which is great, so the, the device beams out a little Wi-Fi and you're 
as soon as you open the app, it looks for your device connects. But obviously you then do have to have a phone in your pocket or down on the ground. It was a bit wet when I tested it. So my phone's waterproof. So there were a few things where it was like, this is easier if it displays on the units, but it doesn't, you are going to need to use the app at all times. Making outside super, super simple to set up, really easy to hit and just look at the data as long as you're happy to have your phone with you. I tested wedges, full irons, drivers. The data was very good and consistent. I had one shot where I towed my drive and it didn't get all the data disp uh, dispersed into the um, unit, yards. but I had enough to understand what came out. It got the ball speed pretty much spot on. The device outside was so easy, just plonk down, hit shot, put it in your pocket, move to the next ball. I think it's really easy for that. And if you wanted to take it to a range where you're just raking balls over and hitting shot after shot, absolutely, you would set it up, toggle through your app, which is simple to use, and you would just be hitting shots and reviewing your data there and then, or you could just keep collecting the data, get home and review the sessions later. Because that's another aspect of the app, which is good. It stores all your sessions so you can really work in your progress over time on what you're improving using this device. I thought outside, this one was actually better than the Mevo Plus. If you're someone who wants to take it on the golf course and measure, this one was just so easy to use. So what are some of the cons of the Flightscope Mevo? Well, this charging point definitely needs a change. Like, like I said, I've got one lead for that and I'm gonna lose it and then I'm gonna have to buy one or it'll just sit there and charge. So hopefully new iterations will not have the old fat USB. The Mevo doesn't do speed training as in you can swing with no ball in front of it and it'll measure your club, which I think is a shame for the price this is set at. And remember, use my discount code for the best price. This would be perfect for speed training. It's a shame that that isn't something that is available. You have to go to the more expensive model for that. So I think that's a slight con. I would have put that in personally, but I understand they're always trying to upgrade, aren't they? And then there wasn't really any cons. I thought the battery life would be rubbish. It's not, it's pretty good. I used it over two days, not test that charging it, still got charging. Like it's, I couldn't find any other cons. I thought the unit was just, so simple and so easy to use, but how accurate really is the data from such a small machine? Any golfer who wants measured practice, any golfer who doesn't want to waste their time just bashing balls and wondering what's happening. If you want to dial in distances, wedges, full shots, if you want to improve your speed training, remember while yep. hitting balls, this is going to allow you to measure what you're doing to make sure that your speed training is working. For the money, apart from you not really wanting to measure your practice, if you wanted to measure your practice, this has to be one of the best at this price. So just how accurate was it? When I tested it indoors, I thought that was the best test for it. Outdoors, it's gonna excel its Doppler radar. It's, it's, you know, seeing the ball for as long as it can. And the numbers I got outside were very true to what I would expect. Indoors, you're pushing it a bit more to its limits. You've got to have certain amount of ball flight, so your neck can't be too close, and certain amount of distance behind you. So you've got to have certain amount of room to make sure this works. There are some issues with lights as well, they talk about. If you go on their website, it will talk you through what you need to be aware of if you're putting it in indoor space. You need these little silver dots for indoors for it to be accurate, to help it improve its accuracy. If you, I tried hitting without these and it wasn't accurate enough indoors. I could see it was really jumping around. As soon as I put the silver dot on, the numbers just really leveled out. They were consistently there, the same, and what I would expect each time. You basically face the ball, so if I'm hitting towards you, you just put the dot towards the target and then hit. It's obviously reading and seeing the dot. I hit wedges, irons, drivers indoors. Again, you're not really projecting this down a screen, but with the use of the app, I love the fact that the numbers were so, so similar to what my quad was spitting out. So for accuracy, I thought for a unit of this price, this is one I would have maybe the most confidence in. It is Flightscope, which is a major brand within the launch monitor world. You know, they're a serious player with a very top end one that would try and compete with Quad as well. And you saw that consistency coming through on this tiny device. Like it looks funny down on the ground behind you when you're hitting shots, but indoors, I was really impressed. The carries were on the number, the ball speeds were on the number. 
The spins were pretty close each time. The only spin discrepancy I saw was a little bit with wedges where the ball shoots up quick. So I wonder if it gets out of the look of the radar a bit early, uh, possibly. But the spin numbers were a little low on some of the wedges I hit and then they kind of jumped back in line. All the other clubs, the accuracy was spot on. So for indoor use, bay and mind, it's a Doppler radar. So you're not seeing the ball flight and you've got limited ball flight, obviously, indoors. I was impressed. It was good. I wasn't feeling like I was using a budget level, entry level launch monitor. The numbers it was giving me, I felt like I could bring students in and provide a service using that ridiculously Mevo small device. So absolutely impressed. Obviously, the drawbacks with it indoors is the projections and the screens. It's not as good as if you go up to their better models. But again, for entry level, it was so impressive. It's tiny, but it packs a pretty huge punch. I think for anyone who's looking at a launch monitor to get their practice a bit measured and you're on a budget, this is totally one to look at. If you're looking at one to game and play a little bit more, I've got reviews on the Mevo Plus, which is here. But for me, the Mevo, absolutely accurate and a very fun device.